Good morning, folks. We've got several good science stories to hit today. Solar forcing, bird magneto reception, something not to do, and a possible new sign of the solar system shift. We're starting with space weather in the last 24 hours on our star. Big, dark, northern coronal hole turning in. No significant eruptions, but the big sunspots have flared this morning and are on watch for more today. Minor surges and pops, but so far the bigger eruptive activity has been absent. The solar flare this morning was in the low M-class range and came from the crackling interaction of the umbral fields of the largest sunspot on the disk, the one crossing on the south. The magnetic complexity of three active regions is not really that complex. Basically, the only sunspot activity on the Earth-facing side of the sun at the moment is from that southernmost group. That biggest group on the south has the only magnetic complexity, but it remains relatively minor. Slight bit of magnetic mixing there in the central corridor of the sunspot group, but unless it develops further, chances for pretty big flares are pretty low. Let's go to the articles where we begin with a call for greater recognition of solar forcing of Earth's atmosphere. I've seen many of these calls over the years, and no matter how good a job is done, the presented forcing pathways and electrodynamic mechanics are always ignored and are never integrated into these politicized models. Just know that scientists are waking up to this. It just may be a little too late into clown world. Interesting paper up next showing how while pretty much all birds use Earth's magnetic field, they do so quite differently. Perhaps a varying magnetic compass and overall magnetoreception profile in the avian community. The more we know here, the more unpredictable the magnetic pole shift effects become. Up next, folks, this is scientifically interesting, but also a bad idea for observers in some cases. Electrically conductive concrete. Okay, you mind if I go ahead and not use that to build a bunker in preparation for the disaster cycle set to unfold with this magnetic pole shift? All right. Last but not least, Uranus. A seven-year study that immediately followed the previous bombshells about record storms and aurora on Uranus has shown that its polar brightness profile has more than doubled in the seven years from 2015 to 2022. That is not expected. That is not normal. And that is a prime candidate for interaction between the planet and its electromagnetic environment. Is it changing its magnetic field, allowing more solar energy excitement? Is its interaction with the galactic current sheet amplifying? Either way, not the type or level of changes we'd expect to see if everything is normal and not rapidly shifting. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.